The Lean 5S system contains five steps to achieving a more organized, controlled, and efficient manufacturing factory. These steps are sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. And in this video, I discuss the fourth step in the 5S process, and that is the standardized step. In the standardized step of the 5S methodology, you want to either be a skilled thief or be the lead goose of a flying V formation. This fourth step is all about plant-wide consistency. While a continuous improvement journey requires a lot of team-based creativity, it also requires some consistency too, because you don't want your plant to look like a mishmash of different visual controls and lean standards. So in the standardized step, you're going to look to create new standards or look to comply to the already existing standards in your plant. If your plant's already begun its lean journey and it has a few previously completed 5S Kaizans, then steal shamelessly from those other teams. I've led many Kaizen events and after the classroom training, I would take the Kaizen teams on a tour around some of the production areas that have already undergone 5S activities. During these Kaizen tours, I would point out the metric boards, work tables, tool boards, and visual controls in each area. I would instruct the Kaizen team to copy what the other teams have already created. Maybe it's the method of tool control that they utilize, or the layout of their metric graphs, or the color code system that they're using for various process controls. Additionally, I would share any written standards with the Kaizen team too. You see, I never wanted a Kaizen team to reinvent something that was already established. But what if your team represents the first 5S Kaizen event in your plant? In other words, what if your event represents the lead goose in your plant? Well, then if that's the case, you have some extra work to do during this fourth step of the 5S process. You will need to establish the 5S standards for your plant. And while all the standards probably won't get established during the event itself, some follow-up work will be required. One of the goals of this first 5S Kaizen team is to work in a continuous improvement mode and to create the new 5S standards for your plant. Then you want to implement those new standards within the assigned production area. And lastly, document the standards for plant-wide use in the future. This process, it takes some time and it requires many conversations with various resources. But understand your project, it's gonna be the 5S model in your plant. Future Kaizen teams will tour that production area and then steal shamelessly. The 5S standards that you and your Kaizen team may need to create include things like the metric board design, the workstation layout, 5S audits, and color coding of different process controls, such as shadow locations, combine squares, workflow visuals, and safety items. In summary, progressing through the Lean 5S methodology includes this fourth step, which is standardize. The first three steps, they were all about rolling up your sleeves and getting organized. And here in the standardized phase, it's all about creating and maintaining plant-wide consistency. When it comes to plant-wide 5S standards, you are either the lead goose and you'll be creating the standards that other teams will follow, or you'll be the skilled thief who shamelessly steals standards from the previous Kaizen teams. When you standardize the 5S efforts in your plant, you create a tidal wave of lean momentum. My name is Joe Joyce and I'm with Tools for the Trenches. If you work in manufacturing, then visit us, follow us, and subscribe to Thrive.